Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to start a series of Threat Intel tools. Threat Intel tools concept. So generally we can discuss like what is Threat Intel tools. Before that we need to know in the SOC where we use these Threat Intel tools. Generally, they denote it as TI. So, while parsing the logs, every product will integrate third party services for Threat Intel tools. Generally, the threat intel tools will be maybe may open source or uh, paid services also. Uh, for example, uh, there are so many open sources, MISP, Virus Total, and uh, Abuse, IPDB. And also Cisco, Talos, IBM, X Force, or uh, Google Threat Intelligence. So these type of uh, threat intelligence tools we can integrate as a third party in our. SOC tools and same tools generally we call it TI. So what is the use of these tools? So each and every log while we are investigating either we get files, hashes and also IPs and also domains, paths, these type of things. So let us recall about these things. So what type of things we can get with this? So generally IPs either it can be IPv4 or IPv6 and after that hashes. md5 or sha and after that we can say files any type of extensor dot exe dot bad dot txt any kind of file in general okay and after that we are having domains or paths Maybe it can be google.com, Palo Alto, Network Services, it can be anything. So in general, we will use for this threat intel tools in third party services in product of any SIM tool as for IPs, hashes and files and also domains, okay? So now we can discuss what can be the things we can find in our SIM tool as IPs. So in general, we will talk about IPs today. Also, we can talk rest of the things. So firstly, we'll concentrate on IPs. So IPs, we classified into IPv4, and IPv6. So mostly we will concentrate on IPv4. In general, most SIM tools we will receive only IPv4, IPv6 also. It's not a big deal. Uh, for a different session, we will take in detail for this how an IP works, what is the IP ranges and all, what is public IP, a detailed session. Okay. 
so for now we will discuss now an internal range which is private ips ranges calculate from 10 255 255.255 .255 is one range and another range would be 172.16.0.0 and third one would be 192.168.0.0. From 192.168.255.255. In most of the cases, we will see these three IPs as private or internal. Okay. The rest, all the IPs comes under public. So when these type of IPs are occurring in our in our SIM tool, we generally ignore it because these are private IPs inside the organization only. It will be happen outside the organization. It won't be happen. Other than these, all IPs comes under public IPs. For these public IPs, hackers or advisors will use from different sources so to analyze these type of uh, ips we use threat intel tools like for suppose oh, a hacker is using a vulnerable mission it is having a public ip called uh, 176.12.11.8 this is a hacker's ip it is a malicious of 100 percent score so because it is uh, reported by so many users of uh, all over the world. They are experienced ma uh, malicious activities or phishing or uh, you know, spam activities for this type of IPs. So to analyze these type of IPs, we use threat intel tools. Okay. And also we have discussed another thing. Other than these IPs, hashes. So what is a hash? Hash is a unique value. It would generate for each and every type of value or a file in a system. Okay. So we will talk about hash. So for example, I am using a file called regx.exe some background process or as we see just a second as we see host dot exe these type of files i know these type of files are having list of files and it is having a hash of uh, 1 e c a b 2 5 8 9 6 B, A, 7, 2, 1, 3. It is a unique value of hash. For Similarly, this is also having some different kind of hash. So we cannot directly pull through logs about this file. We can take file name and file path. But in our sim tool, When the logs occurred, there is a third party services. We call it as TI, that Intel tools from the originated organization. So this third party TI tool will analysis the log for each and every log, whether it is having IP hash domain, it is considered that it will pull that IP domain hash file it will convert that and uh, a hash value or ip and it will check with is ti database when it checks with the database if it is 
match with any malicious activity it will show in our sim tool it is a malicious so advantage of this thing threat intel tools is this thing. okay so moving forward we have discussed hash and ips domain would be anything okay so now domain so we can generally uh ibom uh, is very vulnerable ibom uh, dot com and uh, there are so many subdomains we need to uh, list out these type of all the domains and we need to inform to the threat intel database that it is uh, vulnerable and it is a uh, malicious or phishing and it is a malware kind or else we can say uh, other than ibama we can say movies movie rules where we see illegal movies okay movie rules this also comes under phishing mal, 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 uh, malicious and malware attacks so these type of uh, domains also will be present in the ti to analysis so when it occurs it will we need to inform to the network team to block these type of sources other than this we we have seen files so there are different types of files now in general we cannot discuss say list at once but no files can be anything like uh for example i have made a bhc dot bat or bhc dot dll or bhc dot exe it could be any type of file whether this file is harmful or not it will check by ti tool the ti tool database having the similar type of bad file hash inside the database having malicious or phishing kind or malware kind it will report it in our sim tool these type of files are under the category of malicious or malware so these type of things we need to identify while we are investigating in our logs while we are doing investigation for the alerts also so this is how we can uh, see the threat intel tools occur so in the summary we can say uh, the tools one which we use for real time analysis are for ips and domains abuse ip db this is only for ips and domains and rest 3234 yes uh, virus total and cisco talos and also ibm x force so these three we'll use for ips domains and uh, files and hashes don't worry we will discuss each and every tool in detail for upcoming sessions so this is up to this lecture which we have discussed about whole theory what is threat intel tools okay and the next lecture we are directly focusing on how to use the threat intel tools while we are going to investigate so i hope you have gain some knowledge what is threat intel tools if you are having any queries you can directly uh, comment or you can directly ping me in telegram group so that i can 
uh, give you prompt response as soon as possible for your queries. So please like, share and subscribe to our channel to get better content in the cybersecurity, which is real time knowledge. Thanks for joining once again, signing off, Black Hat Command All. Thank you.